just a little note here. Um, we have differences in what is a romantic orientation and what is a sexual orientation. So we might find sexual attraction to folks or we might wanna engage in sexual um, experiences with folks, but we're not interested in romantic relationships with them or vice versa, right? So this top one here, this, this is me. I'm homo romantic, meaning that I'm only interested in um, dating and marrying other women. Uh, I feel very much like I want to have a girlfriend and a wife. I don't want a boyfriend or a husband, et cetera. I'm very homo romantic. Um, but I am pansexual. I've had sexual experiences with all types of genders and they were, they were all enjoyable, you know, uh, assuming that there was compatibility, but I, I don't have um, restrictions in terms of sexuality, but I don't want to date or marry um, a man or have a boyfriend or husband. I'm definitely homoromantic. So there are sometimes differences in there. Or look at this next one, heteroromantic and bisexual. And I promise you, you've experienced someone like this. So the common, and it's kind of a, a trope, right? But in college, um, is when a lot of people experiment for their first time. And so there might be straight women who are only interested in having romantic relationships with men. And then they realize that they do have sexual attraction to other women. So they're bisexual actually, but heteroromantic. Um, similarly, someone can be asexual and this is a common um, confusion, asexual. And we're gonna talk about what that, the nuance of what that means, but still be interested in romantic relationships, right? So still be romantically attracted to two genders, even if they're not, um, they don't have a sexual preference, sexual desire, sorry. Um, so there's, there are some, some common fallacies and common myths that people associate with sexuality and romantic orientation. Cause we pursue relationships for so many other reasons than just having sexual needs fulfilled, right?